The overall goal of this procedure is to examine the morphological differences in abnormal clot structures that occur in diabetes and sickle cell anemia disease conditions. For simulated diabetic clots, this is accomplished by imaging glycated clot structures by confocal microscopy. For blood samples from sickle cell patients, fibrin clots containing red blood cells are imaged. Real-time confocal microscopy analysis can then be performed to evaluate the fibrinolysis rates on the normal and glycated clot structures. Ultimately, this real-time analysis can be used to evaluate the morphological differences that occur in abnormal clot structures in response to the disease states in which they arise. This method can help answer key questions in the field of thrombosis and hemostasis, such as how are fibrin clot structures different in patients with diabetes or sickle cell disease. To evaluate simulated diabetic clots by confocal microscopy, first defrost human fibrinogen and 10% fluorescently labeled human fibrinogen conjugate at 37 degrees Celsius. When the solutions have warmed, Mix the human fibrinogen and the fibrinogen conjugate in a glucose trisodium chloride solution and incubate the solution, protected from light, in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath for 48 hours. Nearing the end of the incubation, use a non-liquid based adhesive to affix a thin adhesive on two sides of a glass microscope slide to make a chamber. Then mix the fibrinogen solution.